either. It's me, Sapphire Moonbeam, and I'm going to do a general Oracle and Lenormand card reading for you. Not all of the messages may apply to you, but I hope that if you felt compelled to click on this video, that there will be a message that resonates with you. If you would like to get a personal reading, you can send me a message at sapphiremoonbeam.com. And let's see, let me pick one more to start with. All right. So the first card is the heart. It's about all matters of the heart, love and romance. This is the card of the lilies. The lilies is about a long-term relationship, about peacefulness and feeling calm and content. That's a great thing to have right next to the heart. The ship is a card about your ship coming in. It's about successful commerce, successful business matters. It's also about forward movement, and it can be about going on a trip abroad, overseas, or having someone come visit you from abroad. Now, this is the rider. The rider brings news, fast approaching good news. And it's pretty obvious that this is the message regarding the heart, that beautiful radiant heart above the rider. So this is the card of the bouquet or the flowers. And it's all about getting a beautiful gift, being um, given a gift, receiving a beautiful surprise, a show of affection. It's also being acknowledged for doing a, a job really well. This is the cross and the cross can indicate a period when you have been sad or had some grief, um, loneliness, that sort of thing. But it's also a card about faith and believing that things will work out and get better in time. I'm going to pick a card for the heart. Okay. We got the compass. The compass is all about being led by the divine and destiny and finding success on your path. And since there is sort of a beautiful vintage map here, this also may be, again, about some sort of travel that you're going to be doing. It's, it's the card of saying, you know what, you're on the right path regarding matters of the heart. I'm going to pick a card for the ship. And this is the card of the birds. And as you can see, the birds, there's two there. They are building a nest together. This is a couple. This is a joyous new beginning, new season. This is, uh, anytime I see sun rays, that's about hope. So it looks like um, you could be traveling somewhere to set up house with someone that you love, or they could be coming to visit you and you're going to begin a life together. Let me pick a card here for the rider. The card we got is the tree. And the tree is about longevity. It's something that's here to stay and it's here to grow. It's about health and longevity, putting down one's roots and having a secure future. That's a lovely message to go right along with the rider. Now I'm gonna pick a card for the cross. And look at that. It's the rider again. And in that rendition of the rider, she's on a beautiful carousel horse and she is approaching with news as well. She has a letter there some sort of message that she's bringing in. 
The rainbow is all about love, hope, magic, believing in miracles. There's some really good stuff on the way. This is also a beautiful rainbow in the tree. The tree itself looks like something out of a fairy tale. I, the feeling I'm getting from all this is that dreams really do come true. You have to continue to, to believe in it. I'm going to pick a card for the lilies. And this is what fell. So that is the card called the magnifying glass. And this card suggests that you take a closer look or two. It can provide you more focus and give you a perspective that is fresh and new. It's never a bad idea to take your time with something, especially if this is indicating a long-term relationship for you. It's not saying not to take the chance. It's just saying make sure that you know what's happening. Keep an eye on things. Um, just take your time and look at details. Doesn't mean anything bad. I'm going to pick a card for the bouquet and the flowers. Okay, so we got the anchor. And... The anchor is all about stability, hope, security. It also brings peace of mind. It will help you reach your goal and it'll help you stay grounded in spite of this, you know, these rough waters around it. There are also birds in this as well. Birds are all about communication. And these birds are flying to reach and soar at greater heights. This is a really lovely reading. So I'm just going to pick one more card from my Moonbeam Magic Oracle card deck. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I painted all 46 of these cards. And this is my self-published deck. And you can find out more about it at moonbeammagic.com. I'm sorry, moonbeammagicdeck.com. You can also go to sapphiremoonbeam.com and any of my shops will take you. Um, you can find a link for my shops and you can find a place to buy this. So this is our send off message. And that's a really beautiful thing since there's so much love in this reading. That's perfect. So it's Radiate Love, it's card number 32. Love is what we are, love is all around us. When you live your life with an open heart and radiate love, your relationships improve. The love you put into this life is what you will get out of it. Do not hold back, live your life with your heart wide open, radiate love. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful send-off message here. Thank you for watching my video. I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little wiggly bell so you can get notifications about new videos when they come out. And I hope you have a really wonderful night.